So first what I did was I just folded a piece of A4 paper in half. And then what you want to do is you just want to draw a circle at the very edge of the paper. And I just used a lid to do this and I just traced around it with my pencil. But you can of course make yours as big or as small as you want. So now on to the next step. So next what I did was I cut out the shape and you should have two circles that are joined together like this. And this is going to be one of the Oreo cookies. So once you've done that, we can start colouring it in. So next what I did was I coloured the circle just using a black colouring pencil and you can make yours whatever colour you like but if you are doing the same design as me then make sure not to colour it too dark because otherwise then you won't be able to see the details. And I also did the same thing for the other side, but I only coloured around the around the edges of the circle, if that makes sense. And then what I did was I just drew on the Oreo details just using a black felt tip pen and also a black fine liner. And I just used this image here as reference. And I know it didn't turn out the best, it's because this is quite a difficult design to do, but I tried my best. So once you've done that, we can move on to the next step.
So next what I did was I covered both sides of the Oreo with clear tape. And then what I did was I started taping the two pieces together as you can see so basically what you want to do is you just want to place a piece of tape on the edge of the circle like so And then you just want to make slits with your scissors. And then just fold them down like this. And you just want to do that for the whole thing. But you want to make sure to leave a small opening so that way you can still add in the filling. So I'm just going to do that. So here it is once I've finished adding in the filling and it's up to you what you want to use for yours. I decided to just use cotton balls but you can use pieces of foam or even a plastic bag if you want to. And now this next step is optional but if you want to make it a cracking squishy then you can add in a hair clip but you want to make sure to tape it down so that way it can't poke through the paper. And then you just want to place it inside like so, just really carefully. And then you just want to tape up the last little bit of the squishy. So I'm just going to do that. So here it is once I've finished taping it all together. And then once you've done that, next what you want to do is you want to make the second cookie. And as you can see, I've already done that. So you just want to make it the exact same way as the other one. And I decided to leave this one plain, but you can also draw on the details onto this one if you want to. And I also made the filling in the same way as the cookies. And also you can make the filling whatever colour you want. And once you have all your pieces, next we can start taping them together. So here it is once I've finished taping all three pieces together. So 
so basically what I did was I just took some small pieces of tape and I folded them like so and then I just used that to stick all three pieces together and I ended up using four separate pieces of tape and then once you've done that your squishy is finished and I know this did turn out slightly messy but I'm still pretty happy with it And it is a little bit squishy. And again, you can make yours whatever colours you like. And you can also make it as big or as small as you want. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always please feel free to request any more squishy tutorials you would like me to do in the comments below and also please feel free to request any more paper squishy tutorials you would like me to do because I do need some more ideas. So, yep, I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.